Hi everyone, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a good week so far. Um, lots and lots of you joined us yesterday, um, hundreds in fact, um, to make some beautiful rings using our coin crystals. So hopefully you enjoyed those yesterday. Um, today we're going to be doing adjustable memory wire bangles. So something a little bit different um, for memory wire. Um, but let us know how you've been getting on, what you've been making. Good morning Antida. Um, morning Maureen, let us know what you've been beading and what you've been making, um, if there's any projects you've got on the go and obviously use this time to ask us questions as well. Um, Kitty normally watches and can um, keep an eye on the comments for me if it gets a bit too busy. Morning Jane, hi Dean, morning Lucy, I hope you've got that needle threaded. Oh I've seen actually you had the easy eye needles. So I hope you're getting on okay. Morning, Sava. Hi, Kitty. Morning, Lynn, Mina. Lots of you joining us already. Lovely. Good morning, Margaret. Um, so we're going to make adjustable memory wire bangles today. So you're going to need, so that you can quickly go and raid your cupboard, so you've got everything you need if you're making along with me, you're going to need your round nose pliers. You will need some memory wire shears. So memory wire is actually a tempered steel. Um, so it's super, super strong. As the name would suggest, it memorizes its shape. So you get it in these bangle forms. Um, I'll let you know what we've actually got on the website today if any of you do need your materials. Um, but because it's so strong, you shouldn't use your, your good jewellery cutters on there. So you do need your memory wire shears. I'm also going to use um, some head pins. So they're the one with the flush tip on the end. I've got some jump rings and then I'm going to use an assortment of beads. Um, so today on the website, we actually have, um, memory wire is really inexpensive. You can buy 20 loops. So that would be, um, with your memory wire, it comes in loops like this. Um, so like the little slinkies. So um, what we'll, what you'll actually get um, for a pound is 20 loops. So like one, two, three, four, five, you'll get 20 coils uh, just for a pound. And then we have some amazing uh, deals on the beads. I'm going to show you those as I put you down on the mat. Um, I'm just going to catch up. Good grief, there's a lot of you. Um, hi, good morning, Julie, Anne. Um, lots of Anne's. Good morning, Debbie, Doris, Julie, Sarah. Morning. Hope you're well. Thank you for all the inspiration. Oh, Sarah, you're more than welcome. Thank you. I hope you're well too. I'm doing good. Um, hi Julie, Pauline, Diane, Jan, Christine, Nikki, Mina. I made crystal pendant and netted bracelet yesterday, but still to finish today. Amazing. So you've been keeping busy. Um, good morning, Michelle, Annette, Karen, Alison. Um, lovely. Got everything at the ready, says Marion. Super. Um, Nikki says, I used my household pliers on memory wire. Yeah, exactly. Just have a pair that you don't particularly mind ruining. Um, the reason we say it is because if you use your good jewellery cutters, I've got mine here. Oh, there's my tweezers, but you can close. Um, if you use your good jewellery cutters, what you'll find is that on the blade here, um, these are well loved, but there's no dents in them. If you start using your memory wire um, on a lot of your good pliers, because it's such a strong metal, you'll actually cause little dents and little rivets along the blade. And then that means wherever you then try to cut there, because it's got the hole out of it, it, it's rendered useless in those places. So make sure you use either memory wire shears or if you've got, I don't know, a yucky pair from the garden or the garage, whatever, that will do as well um, because it is super strong. I'm going to show you a few tips today on how to bend them and mould them and such like. Um, good morning, Maria from Malta. Hi, lovely to have you here again. Heather, where can I buy the buttons for the little people, please? I must actually say a big thank you. Um, I was talking to Kitty this morning. Christopher is over the moon with the amount of you that ordered his little button men. This is something that Christopher designed. He's nine, um, designed it himself, did the little video himself, um, and they sold so many. He was proud as punch. So thank you so much uh, from Kitty and Christopher. Um, so Heather, where can you buy the buttons? On the Totally Beads website. So I actually have a link to the free project section on this video. If you click on there, there's a whole button sections. The button men kits might even be up there. I think they might have sold out, but they might still have a few. Um, I'm sure Kitty will let you know. Um, good morning, Maxine. Hi, Sue. Jane, I have a great set of cutters that a man who fitted my smart, my smart meter left behind. Brilliant. Use those. That would be great. Okay, super. So what I'm going to do is um, start making our memory wire bangles. So these are the bangles that we're going to make. 
you're going to need a 0.8 millimeter you could probably use a one mil memory wire but it's going to be quite hard to turn um, because we are going to have to mold it a little bit um, so 0.8 is going to give you a great bangle and as you can see they are adjustable so anybody who suffers with swollen hands um, getting anything on that's a little bit harder. Memory wire is fantastic because you can either keep it as a memory wire bangle in which you just put your beads on, loop the end and you can mould it round and then as you can see there's no clasp, there's no fittings uh, so it's super easy to wear. I'm going to make it into the adjustable bangles. Bangles are normally harder because they're, they have to be so big to get over your knuckles and then by the time they're on your wrist, they're huge. So with these adjustable ones, it's absolutely perfect because it will open up to go on and off your wrist. Sometimes they get a little bit stuck like this. Um, and then it's obviously going to go down to size. So I've got a, a good little selection. This is actually using a 0.6 memory wire. And as you can see, it's a lot more flimsy. Um, so this might uh, bend out of shape. So I would recommend that you go for a 0.8 or a 1 mil. And as I said, they're only a pound on the website. So it's amazing value for money. And we're going to use two coils for everyone. So you'd get 10 bangles for your pound. Um, Anne says, is there a free PDF today? No, there isn't, I'm afraid. So just like yesterday, the ring is one of my designs, um, as are these bangles. So we haven't had a chance to actually write it up. But if you share this video, that will actually put it onto your own um, Facebook page. And then you can keep that um, and go back as a reminder. So when you do get your materials, you'll be able to find the video really easily. There are also ways if you're savvy with Facebook and your videos, you can actually save it as well. Um, we found yesterday and so many people um, said thank you for the tip. If you share the video, obviously it's going to reach to your friends and more people can obviously enjoy the videos. But if you share it, it will go onto your homepage and then you'll be able to find it on your newsfeed really simply. OK, so I'm going to turn you down. Let's have a little look and we'll get beading. So I've got my, oh, um, Marcia says ideal because you can't get bangles to fit your wrist. Exactly. So whether you are a little bit larger or smaller in size, you might suffer with swollen knuckles. I know, I'm sure my mum won't mind me saying, but she um, suffers from arthritis. So a lot of hers are really hard to wear. So you're going to need your round nose, your cutters. I have got my good jewellery cutters as well for my head pins. And then you'll need a selection of beads. Now on the website today, have a look at this. I'm going to move you out a little bit so you can see it more clearly. Um, we have the most amazing glass bundle beads, uh, bead deals. So you are going to get 10 strands for just $4.99. So we are looking at wholesale prices here. Um, it's going to be an assortment. Now the selection is either in pink and purple. So as you can see, you've got some beautiful big feature beads all the way down to two and three mil spacer beads. So when you're making your bangles, assortments like these are going to be fantastic. But these are good for any of your projects, whether you are doing um, bead weaving, you just want to make some nice um, earrings, uh, stretch elastic bracelets, nice little clusters. These are going to be fantastic. So this is your pink purple mix, 10 strands for just $4.99. So hopefully there's something for everybody's budget. I have also added into mine some seed beads. So that would be your only addition. There is also a monochrome mix, which I just love. Some of them have a B finishes. They've got like an opal kind of finish. Now, remember, you will get an assortment within your um, monochrome. So there's, again, down from two to three mil spacer beads, bicones, rounds, rondelles. You'll get a whole assortment of everything you can use working in your monochrome family. And then there is also one, and I have to say I love this one. This is your green and gold. So um, beautiful dark emerald greens. You've got some real feature beads in here as well. So if you're lucky, I mean, these are all going to be handpicked by the team. So they really will pick you a great assortment. And the greens and the ambers and the golds, I think, just work beautifully together. I can't decide which one to make. Um, let's go for greens, shall we? Let's go for greens and ambers something a little bit different. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick a little assortment from here. We'll make a few bangles this morning, okay? Um, because I wanna take you through, let's get a bicone in there as well, and maybe a nice pop of green. Okay, so I'm gonna use these ones today. 
lovely. So I've got a really nice assortment. Now these memory wire bangles you could be making out of any of like your bead soups, um, anything that you've got left over um, from previous projects. I was using coin beads yesterday. They're going to go really well as well. Um, let's go for these ones and then we'll go a bit brighter. It's really nice sometimes just to use leftovers. Obviously these strands are fantastic value for money. But I'm sure a lot of you have leftover beads from various projects. We always give you extra, extra in your kits. Um, and this is going to be a really nice way to use those up. So I'm going to use some of the beads for my actual bangle. And then we're going to add some on as charms as well. So these ones, I'm going to set aside one to have as a little charm. So I'm gonna pick one from each color of my assortment. I'm gonna put in a couple of extras of those actually as well. And then that would look quite nice in there as well. I'm gonna have these as my little charms that will drop down. I'm not focusing in this morning, are we? I'm gonna have these as my little charms that will drop down. And these ones we will add into our bangle just to create a nice little feature. Okay, so with your memory wire, like I said, it's a tempered steel. So it's super, super strong. It's called memory wire because it memorizes its shape. Okay, so it's, um, it's, uh, <laughs> Sue says I'll be having some of those bundles. Yeah, it's going to be while stocks last, I'm afraid. So if you do want them, um, you might have to be quite quick. Um, it's going to be an assortment, remember, as well. So, um, you might not necessarily get the beads that I'm using, but they are amazing value for money. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, your memory wire, you can obviously make bangles out of them. And I'm sure you've seen it time and time again with memory wire. <laughs> Anne says, whoops, looked away as I was ordering. Don't worry, Anne, you haven't missed anything. I've just selected some beads to put onto my bangles. Okay, so what we're going to go for is uh, one and a half coils, basically. So you can see the end of my memory wire is here. So one coil would take it to underneath and then a half I'm going to go to about here. Okay, and that will be enough. Your memory wire comes as a pound. Well, I've gone for two there. Um, your memory wire comes as a pound for 20 coils, so 20 loops which is gonna be more than more than enough. And what we're gonna do, I'll show you first of all how we would ordinarily coil the end of a memory wire bangle, which will act as a little stopper. Oh, fantastic, Jane says she's got her beads, amazing value for money, it really is. So we would use our round nose pliers, just like we do when we're turning loops, um, holding that wire flush to the top of your pliers. Now with memory wire, because it's so strong, you also need to use your thumb to encourage that wire to wrap around the pliers okay so I'm going to turn it but I'm also going to use my thumb just to encourage it to go around and I will create the loop there just like we would with a head or eye pin and then I'm going to centralize that so memory wire that would now act as a stopper you could thread your beads onto the end all the way to leave a centimeter and loop the other end voila you've made a bracelet um, but I'm going to show you a slightly different technique today what you're going to want to do whether you're making normal memory wire bangles is when you wear this this is going to scratch your skin so take your round nose pliers pop them on the main body of the wire and just twist it up okay like so and the amount of people that have bought memory wire bangles to me friends and family and said I can't wear it because it scratches me it's because of that and all you do is that little twist and it's much better and easy. Um, is there a link to the strand of bundles, Jackie? Yes, there is. Um, I think Kitty has actually just put it up. Um, and also it's in the uh, link, the description to this video as well. Okay, so to make my bangle, I'm actually going to use this loop and I want to turn it down. So I'm going to take my um, flat or round nose pliers and I'm going to hold the loop that I've just created and I'm going to twist it down. So you'll see I've now made a complete right angle, okay? And what we'll do with our memory wire once we finish beading is we'll thread it through here, okay? But first of all, we need to add our beads on. So I'm going to use some seed beads as spacers as well. These are a size six, so they are big. I'm using a 0.8 millimeter memory wire, so I need a seed bead that's gonna go on. Most of the time you could probably even get an 11 on there, but I'm gonna go for a bit of color and go with these. And then I'm just gonna take the end of my memory wire that we haven't looped yet, and I'm going to add on some beads. Now you can either go random, or you can add on a nice little pattern. 
it's entirely up to you, whatever beads you're going to be using. Um, obviously, if you're getting your strands today, you could use your smaller spacer beads. They're going to range from about two to three mil all the way up. Some of these are 10, 15, 20 mil beads, um, huge big feature beads, um, which is fantastic when you're doing something like this. Your materials are really exposed when you're just making simple bangles. So the beads that you use is really important because it's going to be the main feature. So I'm just creating a nice nice little strand here. All we're going to do is bead about three quarters of our bracelet, okay? So I'm pretty much into the middle of it now, and I'm going to add on one of these as a nice feature. I can't decide. Let's thread it on first and have a look. I can't decide whether I want to put on... I think the green is a bit too much of a contrast against the brown. I did look out some uh, other spaces, didn't I, to add in. Let's do... Yeah, they look nice. Let's do that one. I'll add the green as a little stopper. Um, will that green go with it? Mm, I might want a darker one. The nice thing is when you have selections of beads like these, you can, oh, that's going to be nice. You can use so many different beads. I'm not great at random, I have to say. Random choices kind of throw me. Um, but with things like this, just like I showed you with the rings yesterday, if you go wrong at any point, all you do is unthread it. So have a little play with your designs whilst you're working. Have a little play, see what works. They might look great on the mat and as you start adding them on, it doesn't quite work. So you can see I've introduced a little bit of green on here, which hopefully will graduate me into my big emerald green. All oh, that looks better. Let's go for that. And then we'll finish it off with a square on the other side. Nice, that's cute. Um, and then I'm just going to finish with the rest of my beads that we had here. So I'll alternate between my seed beads. I went for amber, didn't I? And then the rounds. I probably could have added in, if I was going to do this again, I would add in these green spaces because they're almost like little discs. They look fantastic. Now, don't forget to share the video. If you want to keep this as a tutorial for when you actually get your beads and your bundles or for when you're making it later, if you share the video, that's going to pop it onto your home page on Facebook and then you'll be able to find that as a great reference. We've done six weeks worth of these videos now, Kitty and I, um, so you can always scroll scroll through the videos on the page and have a little look at maybe what you've missed or something that you might like to try at a later date as well. So it's always going to be there for your reference. And you'll see I'm not stretching out my memory wire. I'm keeping it in my coils as I'm using it. And that is going to keep you on track for a nice bangle. Um, it won't stretch out. Okay, so I've finished now on the same pattern as I had at the very beginning. And now I'm just going to open this up a little bit, still trying to keep the bend of the curve of your memory wire. And I'm going to pop that into the loop that we created at the very beginning. And then I'm just going to slide my beads all the way around. Margaret says, I've got my beads, but I've missed what you've done. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to create this loop again, and you'll always be able to go back and have a look at the video at the very beginning. Um, if you share it, it'll go onto your homepage, you'll find it straight away. Once I finished, it takes a couple of minutes to load up onto the page, and then it will be there forever. Okay, so we're now going to create our loop on the other side. So I want my bangle to be exactly the same length on either side. So you can see it's a little bit smaller on the inside. So I'm just going to encourage that wire to be the same size as the outside. And then we're going to create the same little loop that we did here with our previous wire at the beginning. So I'm going to take my wire, I'm going to bend it to 90 degrees downwards. Let me move this out of the way so you can see, get those beads out of there because we want this bit just to be plain wire. I'm going to bend it downwards and then I'm going to cut and leave a centimetre. So taking your um, bigger pliers, so your, your um, memory wire shears or your, I don't know, leftover from the gas man, <laughs> whatever you've got, um, your round nose pliers now to create that loop. So I want to create a loop molding this wire around the pliers. So I'm going to keep it flush and I'm just going to turn around. And again, I'm using my thumb to encourage that wire around the pliers. It is a lot 
harder to turn than a um, head or eye pin. And then it's slightly off angle, so I'm just gonna use my pliers and we'll give it a little twist so that it's facing down like so. Make sure that none of your beads have come into the middle and then I'm going to open up this loop and attach it to the base of my memory wire. So I'm gonna just use my pliers. You could use um, flat nose pliers as well, um, which will probably give you a bit more of a, a handle on it. Like I said, the memory wire is pretty tough. And then I'm going to loop it on I want it to go on the inside. Hold on, I've made my loop going the wrong way. You can see here, my loop is facing on the inside on here. So I'm actually going to turn this around ever so slightly so that I can have it on the inside of my bracelet. And that way I'm not going to get a twist in my wire. Lovely. Pop that one in there and then we're going to close this loop. So make sure that you close it so that you have a really closed connection. And now we've got our adjustable memory wire bangle. So you've got the wire on the outside and then as you stretch it to put it on, you can see that these sliders will come up and down the bangle. Okay, it's so simple, but it's really, really clever. And then we're gonna just add some little charms on. So we've got our nice bangle. I'm gonna take a couple of my jump rings now I've got a six mil here. I would probably go for a four, um, <clears throat> just to give you a slightly little more delicate finish, but I don't have my four mils to hand, but that's okay. Um, and then we're gonna have our pins. So you want to, remember those ones that we set aside at the very beginning as our charms? So we're just going to take our beads. I think what I'm gonna do is add on these green spaces just to add in a bit of color. That's nice. And then we're gonna create a loop up on top. So we're gonna bend our pin to 90 degrees. Because we're now using our pins, you can use your flat, um, sorry, your flush cutters, your good ones from your jewelry. And then we're going to turn a loop. So nice and flush to the top, turn your loop, little movements is going to give you that more control and we've got a nice little loop up on top to attach on. I'm going to make sure that this is closed properly because we're going to use our um, jump rings to attach them on. My emerald one, I think I'm just going to leave as is because I like the square finish. So again, we're going to bend that over 90 degrees cut and leave a centimeter oh bernie says she's late but she'll catch up later um jean says good morning can i continue watching now i've been and ordered my beads oh good absolutely i'm so glad you got your beads yeah 4.99 today for 10 strands which is just phenomenal um i'm not sure if kitty or simon's decided that one i hope simon knows what we're selling them for <laughs> um it is amazing value for money okay i'm just going to straighten this one up because it hasn't quite reached the bottom of my bead so as you can see i've got a lot of movement on it so i'm just going to move slightly further down my plier to make that loop bigger there we go and now it's going to stay in place a little bit more rigidly so it's not going to move around so i'm going to have these two charms and then to tie in the rest of the body of the bracelet i'm going to add on some of my amber ones um, and when you've got a really small bead like this, obviously this pin's excessive, um, you could use a smaller eye pin. Sometimes it's harder to bend the pin. So just pop your pliers in and then you can bend the bead or bend the pin over the top to get that 90 degrees because sometimes it's harder to hold on to them when they're really small. Um, if you've got that little bit of a gap in between the bead, I'll show you how to rectify that in a minute to get your complete loop. Nice small movements, little handlebar movements is going to give you the perfect finish and then make sure that it's completely closed as well like so and one more we've got our um our little glass ones haven't we and I think I might add a seed bead on the bottom of that one or are they too similar in color mm, let's add a green one on get a bit of color in there so have a little play with your design. You can do whatever you decide. It's entirely up to you. Bending it to 90 degrees, cutting and leaving. Now, for those of you who missed the bangles at the very beginning, 
you can share the video it will go onto your um your own facebook page um obviously if you've got friends who like beading it's a nice way to share with them as well so they're not missing out um it's a nice little free tutorial that i'm doing for you today um but it also means that it will be on your home page so if you need to find it at a later date it's going to be um easy for you to find you can scroll back through we've got six five six weeks worth of these videos um bear with i'm just going to go and grab my pliers um we've got so many weeks worth of these videos that you can then go back through and you'll see all sorts of tutorials on there if you've missed any we've got we've had weaving we've had wire work there's tiaras there's all sorts okay so to open your jump rings you're going to need a pair of pliers and my pliers, I've been making my orchids for tomorrow's TV show. Um, I'm going to be on Create and Craft at nine o'clock tomorrow morning for Totally Beads. And I've been making my beaded orchids. Um, so my pliers are all in the conservatory. I was working in the sun yesterday. Okay, so we've opened up our jump ring. And now we'll add on our charms. So I'm just going to add on one of my charms. And I'm going to go over both of my um, memory wire coils on that outside. When you're closing your jump ring, make sure you can feel them rub together. And then that's going to go through both. On some of them, you don't even have to add a jump ring. So on my smaller ones, I'm just going to use my pliers. Oh, I've got one of my cheapy head pins here that's um, some of the plating is coming off. That's annoying. Um, I'll replace that later with a good Totally Beads one. Open that up. And this one, I'm only going to put on one coil of my wire. So my smaller ones, I'm going to put on the bottom like so and it just means you're going to get that little bit of difference once you start making them so i've got the bigger charm going through both i've got a small one just on one let's add another small one but this time i'll add it on the other side of the wire so before i did it on the bottom this time we'll do it on the top and i'll go on the other side of my larger charm so you'll see i'm just hooking it on and then twisting it shut like so and you'll start to get this lovely dimension and a little bit of movement and then for our next big one let's do another jump ring jump ring twisting it open so you never pull them apart you're twisting it open let's put that on there and actually I'm going to do so that we finish on a smaller bead yeah let's get another amber one in there I'll take a head pin now because I was using a really long head pin and I wasted quite a lot of it when I used a smaller bead I'm going to make a um a Oh, no, I can't because I need a head pin, don't I? Shall I show you how to make an eye pin anyway? Out of those leftover shards that have come off, just twist your pin just like you would to create a loop. And look, now out of my extras, I've made a new eye pin. So you can keep that for later projects. But I'm being silly because I needed a head pin for this one. Um, what time did you say you're on Creator Craft tomorrow? I um, I actually have three shows tomorrow, but my show for Totally Beads tomorrow is at nine o'clock. Um, I then have um, two shows. I'm sure Kitty won't mind me saying. Um, I then have two shows for Craft Buddy. So the rainbow stamps and stencils that are back in stock. So I'm going to be on at nine with jewellery, half past ten with paper crafting and quarter past two with paper crafting. So I've got a full old day tomorrow big early start okay so we'll just create one more charm I just want to add a little bit more color onto the other side of my larger charm I'm going to open that up and I think we'll do this one on both so you can play around close it off and there we go how cute is that so then you've got a really nice adjustable bangle so the slider loops that we made are on the outside that's going to make it adjustable you've got those lovely charms tying in all of your bracelet and the beads from the middle it's so simple but really effective um should we do another one because it's quite a quick make isn't it let's do another one i'm going to get rid of these beads and I'm going to show you one of the other selections. I know and I can tell because you've all been saying that you've gone off and bought them. Um, a lot of you have got your bead strands for today. I'm just going to put away these ones that I have snipped the end of because I don't want my beads to go everywhere. I want to keep these. And then let's do, should we do a monochrome one? Someone was just saying these would be brilliant for the summer. They're, it's so fantastic. I'll show you some of my other bangles in a sec. Um, because... 
They're fantastic because they're really easy to wear. Obviously, they're a quick make. If you are gifting or selling your jewellery, they're brilliant because they are one size fits all. So, and you can wear multiple ones. Oh, look, those two all go nice together. Um, you can wear multiple ones at the same time. So they're all adjustable, one size fits all, and you can multi-layer them. I think I'd put no, I'd put these two together for sure. And then you've got that lovely little um, movement in them as well. Right, let's do one more. I'm going to make a monochrome one. So this is your monochrome bundle for today. Um, $4.99 for 10 strands of beads. Phenomenal value for money. Let's go for an AB bicone for sure. Um, let's put in... Let's have a little look. This is just so fun. When you get these bead strands home, you're going to be entertained for hours just looking at them. Um, let's go for these and maybe add in... Hmm, I think that one's a bit too dark. Let's go all crystal, shall we? Yeah. Okay, let's do those. Um, and we'll make a nice crystal one. It's gone so dark. I don't know what has just happened. The sun was out a second ago and it's just gone really dark, but I hope you can see okay. Right, let's go for these. I'll decant a few of these off, take these off and get them ready. Because it's a, a nice quick make, we might as well fill in a bit more time, eh? Make a few more for anyone who missed if you were off getting your beads. And then for anyone who's seen the bangle, now you can go and get your beads because I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay, so taking these nice little assortments and our memory wire. Remember to use your memory wire shears. You're getting the memory wire for a pound, which is amazing value for money. Take your memory wire shears and you want to make sure that you are gonna use one and a half coils, if not two. Um, we didn't waste very much on that last one, so we'll go for two on here and creating that loop on the very end, okay? Um, what do you think of the oval memory wire? I haven't even seen oval memory wire. Where are you getting this from? No idea. Haven't seen it. For me, um, I don't I don't know if I'd like it because I'm not sure how that's gonna sit. Um, I've only ever used round memory wire, um, which I think is probably my preferred choice. Um, so I'm creating a loop, I'm gonna move that up to the top, and then I'm bending it down to 90 degrees. Okay, and then we will start although I've gone a little bit over 90. Let's rectify that. And then I'm going to add on my beads. So we're going to go for a real blingy one now. I'm going to go for a smaller bicone. Um, a nice rondelle. Yeah, smaller bicone. And then a larger one. So I've got lovely AB beads in here, um, which is going to give us a beautiful sparkle and as you can see they're really quick to make like I said one size fits all and these beads that you're getting in your assortments now obviously it is assortments um, so you might not necessarily get the exact ones I've been using this morning however you're going to get some amazing beads to create these bangles with 10 strands and all and because they're being hand-picked I know that the team Kitty and Simon and, and everyone in the warehouse are going to make sure that you get a great assortment. They're so good at putting colours together, sizes, shapes. Um, so you'll get a fantastic array. There we go. Look, it's so cute. These would also be great if you're making things like um, flower girl bracelets, gifts for bridesmaids. If you sell any of your makes, you're doing wedding fairs. Obviously, looks like it might be next year before we can get cracking. But now is a great time to top up on stock and start making because we do have this time whilst we're at home so get ahead of the uh ahead of the workload and you can start making okay so I'm going to make sure that I finish on the same as I began with just so I've got that symmetry in my design um let's add on a few more I think we'll do two more larger bicones. And you'll see that I'm not stretching out my memory wire. I'm keeping it nice and coiled. That's going to encourage the shape to remain. It's not going to stretch out, which you don't want. Um, although, obviously, it memorises its shape, it can actually stretch out and get bigger. Um, you can also put, you know, kinks in it. If you're holding on for dear life, um, you can get kinks in there as well. So just try to treat it as gentle as possible. Um, I think that's good. Let's do one more. So I'm finishing on my same pattern. Add on one of my rondelles. 
and then a smaller bicone and we're done. So just the loops to make. So you can see what I'm doing is um, basically beading about three quarters of the bangle. And then I'm just going to stretch this out. Nearly lost my beads. I'm just going to stretch it out so that I can get the memory wire through here. Okay. And once that has gone through that coil, you will see that that will become my first one. I've, I've cut too much memory wire here, but it doesn't matter. And then again, making sure that they're then going to line up. So it, this is quite a small bangle. You could measure this. Let's have a little look. Yeah, so this is, um, it will be seven inches, um, sorry, seven centimetres in width. So if you need longer that, or bigger than that, just add more beads on and stretch out your memory wire, okay? So if I added on a few more beads, you'll see that that has now gone to, that will be eight and a half when we're finished. So you can just keep on stretching it out. But remember, it's adjustable, so that would be at its smallest size, okay? Move those beads up, making sure that my two coils here are at the same width and the same length. I'm going to take this one... to here and then making sure your beads are up flush to the loop on this side I'm going to take this one and bend it down so that I can create my loop taking my cutters leaving a centimeter and I'm going to create my loop so this one I want to curve outwards so again keeping it nice and flush to your pliers so you are looping all of it all the way round, making that loop. I'm really pushing that against my hand because memory wire is a little bit harder. I've still got that nice open gap. Make sure you've got no beads in the middle all the way around. I can then thread that wire straight in and make sure I close it off. And there we go. Again, you've got a really beautiful, adjustable memory wire bangle. So, so simple and really easy to make. And then you would just add your charms on using your head and eye pins, just like we did before. And then you can start layering them, wearing multiple ones. You could even do it with pearls for things like weddings and bridesmaid gifts. They'd be really beautiful. So there you go, really nice and simple, only takes a few minutes to make and um, with today's selection of beads, you're going to get 10 strands for $4.99. So it's amazing value for money as well. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Now, tomorrow I'm going to be on telly. I will be on Create and Craft TV at nine o'clock with our um, fantastic Totally Bead show. So I've got beaded orchids. I also have some amazing diamond tubing, which we're going to be using memory wire for. So another totally different take on it. Um, tune in for that one so you can see what else to do with memory wire and then kitty is going to be with you i need to get my list now so i can see what she's doing um kitty is then going to be with you at 10 o'clock on facebook for some sparkle ribbon which is absolutely beautiful. If you haven't seen it, it's a flat ribbon covered in crystals. And she's going to show you how to back that onto um, some beautiful suede um, and create gorgeous bracelets out of them. It's really beautiful. Um, so yeah, she'll be doing that on Wednesday. On Thursday, she's going to use Preciosa flowers to make a gorgeous necklace. And then on Friday, she'll be doing Russian Spiral 4. So something else coming up, lots of different techniques, something every day at 10 o'clock. Um, don't forget to share the video with your friends, with your beading groups, perhaps even. Um, if you haven't seen the memory wire bangles before, it's a really nice take and it just gives someone else something different to think about. Um, and also then that will be saving it onto your page so you can watch it when you get your materials. So really hope you enjoyed it. Everyone enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Paula. Yes, I'm going to go and get ready for telly. Uh, got to get my nails, uh, well, not get my nails done. I need to try and attempt to do something with these for telly tomorrow um, and get ready and get all my samples made. So yeah, busy old day, but I will see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Uh, no, I'll see you at nine o'clock tomorrow on telly. Kitty will see you at 10 o'clock. Thank you so much for joining. And don't forget to go and get your beads. The link is in the description uh, below as well. It's just going to be while stocks last. So hopefully you'll get yours. Thank you so much, everyone. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.